So you want to start a Minecraft server. Well, that's a very simple thing to do. There are actually a couple different types of servers, so let me just brief you on the type of server that you want first. Alright, so the first type of server is a LAN server. Uh, essentially how it works is if you've got people on the same network as you, you can connect to the same world by clicking open to LAN, and then they can connect to the same world as you by going to the multiplayer and your world should come up if you are both on the same version. Uh, if you want to connect uh, to a server um, with all your friends on it, then I would recommend either just getting a Minecraft Realm, but if you do not feel like paying for that, um, or just want more flexibility with it, I would recommend making a server like we are doing in this tutorial right here. However, that uses your private IP, and I know a lot of people do not like their IP being posted publicly because using your IP pretty much anyone can find you so don't post your IP on the internet uh, if you want a server which you can post publicly and post on certain sites and everything like that uh, I would recommend going through a server hosting program the server hosting service I would recommend using is called Apex Minecraft server hosting they, I recommend using them because they have some of the best support inside of the server hosting industry and they make it super easy to customize your server by adding mod packs whenever you want anyways screw that stuff right into the tutorial we go if you look inside of the description of this video you will see a link that will bring you to this page right here what you're going to want to do in this page is click download minecraft server a 1.17.jar um, this at tutorial will work for future versions as well but the current version I'm on is in this version right here let's see once that gets downloaded it'll ask if you want to keep it or discard it uh, I would click keep that if you do want a Minecraft server and then you'll have this file right here go to wherever you want on your computer and right click and click create folder name that whatever you want could be just server or whatever you want to name it open up that folder and drag your new uh, file that you just created in there once it's in there go to the, the bar up here and type C M D and then hit enter on your keyboard by doing that that opens up the command prompt but we're gonna actually have to go back to the Minecraft server download page and see this command right here and copy that. Now we're going to go back to the command prompt and click control V or just paste it um, and as you can see here is a command. Now there was something wrong with this command. The only problem is is that it has the wrong file. Right, as you can see right here, it says server.jar. It's going to try and open Minecraft server 1.17.1.jar. This is where a lot of people mess up. So what you're going to want to do is back all this up and just name it whatever the name of the file is. Server.jar, no GUI. As you can see, I hit enter. It's going to start creating some files. Now, if you're getting an error message that looks something like this, that is because of the new Java updates. Um, essentially, what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. You'll find this Java download right here. Click Windows. Uh, go to the 64-bit uh, uh, install and click this installer. Essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to update your Java. Um, but if you're not getting that error message, it's not important. Uh, we're just going to go to the next step. As you can see, it will give you an error message right here. It'll say, failed to load. Um, this file right here essentially what you have to do is open the file uh, take this information right here delete the false and set it as true um, close this and don't forget to click save then click server.jar all right now you've got your server set up however you will need to do some port forwarding it's a very simple thing to do. You just have to go to your router settings. Um, there are simple steps to do that. It's different for each router, so I really can't show how to do it in this tutorial, but I would look uh, up a tutorial that says how to port forward for a Minecraft server, or some routers actually already have it set up. 
any commands can be run from the login chat right here, like opping yourself um, and stopping the server. Simply just press, type in stop and it will stop the server. Everything will be saved. If you want to add a custom world to your server, if you want to add a custom world to your server, simply get the world file, drag it into your server folder, delete the old world file or set it aside to save it um, and rename that file to world. If you want to change anything regarding the, the server setting, click on the server properties uh, tab right here. It will open up a text document right here. Uh, essentially right here you can change all of the details like you can turn command blocks on and off and uh, how many mobs spawn in, max players, everything like that, easy peasy. To get players that are not on the same network as you to join you inside of Minecraft, simply Google what is my IP uh, v4 address and then just copy that and add this strand of numbers to it and that will be the connect that they do. But like I said, this is your private IP. Do not post this publicly on the internet. Anytime you want to start your server, simply just double click server.jar that will start it. If you want to connect to your own server, simply just put inside of the direct connect uh, just zero. And that's about it. And then your server should come up and it will be easy. You are done. It's over. You have a server now. Congratulations. I hope that helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I hope you have a nice day. Please consider liking and subscribing if this helped you out. Because I make many more Minecraft tutorials that I bet you didn't even know. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.